Python's standard library is full of hidden gems that can make your coding life easier. One such gem is the Collections module. It's packed with specialized container data types, offering more functionality than the usual list or dict. Let's start with default dict. Unlike a regular dict, default dict lets you provide a default value for the dictionary being constructed. This is especially useful when you want to avoid key errors and initialize the dictionary with default values seamlessly. Notice how we use default dict to count book occurrences without worrying if the key already exists. The int as a default factory initializes the value to zero, ensuring smooth increment operations as seen in our loop. Next up is counter, a subclass of dict that's designed for counting hashable objects. Instead of writing loops for counting manually, counter does it in one line, giving you a clean and efficient count of items like our book list. Lastly, check out named tuple. It allows for creating tuple subclasses with named fields. This makes your code self-documenting as you can access values by name instead of index, improving readability and maintainability. In our example, we define a point with x and y coordinates. Accessing point.x and point.y is straightforward and intuitive, making name tuple a great choice for clean code involving simple structures. Stop wasting time. Grab the full cheat sheet at pdf.vornixlabs.com.